Stony Brook Medicine is an academic medical center and one of the largest and highest quality healthcare organizations in New York State. We provide medical care to 2.8 million residents on Long Island and beyond. With our four hospitals, hundreds of outpatient care sites, research labs, and our five health science schools, we're fast becoming respected national leaders in clinical care, research, medical education, and public health. In 2016, a telehealth work group was founded with diverse stakeholders from across our health system. It was this work group that laid the foundation and support for telehealth education and practice. Today, as a result, the Renaissance School of Medicine has both preclinical and clinical courses in telehealth education. We developed our first course, Docs, Data, and Disruptive Technologies, as an introduction to the core principles of telehealth. It includes a focus on the importance of regulatory, ethical, practical considerations, along with introductions to new devices. We also embraced rapid cycle innovation with these medical students to keep pace with the new technologies and skill sets they now have in computing, data science, and technologies. The first year teaching the course, many students were unfamiliar with the concepts of telehealth. But by the third year, many students entering the course already had significant telehealth experience, even prior to medical school. The development of a professional website manner is another important focus of our innovative curriculum. Website manner is an evidence-based approach of how to practice clinical medicine virtually. We focus on communication, camera placement, lighting, and the tricks that create the proper environment for quality telehealth visits. Our newest endeavor includes the development of a bedside to website course, which is a telehealth focused physical exam course for clinical care. We teach physical examination with devices that can send a complete physical exam, including heart and lung sounds. Our cornerstone has always been experiential learning. Our partnership with the Simulation Center has been essential to the success of our courses. We focus on the clinical aspects of medicine and utilize specialized communication training. This includes one-on-one -on -one standardized video assessments, integrative practice sessions, and most importantly, telesimulations. For me, the telehealth course was very timely as a medical student. I was able to feel confident and competent seeing patients in the primary care setting and in the cancer care setting using telehealth. The Interprofessional Telehealth Education Board consists of representatives from all the health science schools, over 15 different professions. The board's mission is to develop curriculum, simulations, and share best practices. As the Dean of the School of Health Technology and Management, I saw the opportunity to lead this group to scale towards collaborative virtual team building by encouraging the creation of cutting edge content that can be shared, and by identifying opportunities to integrate telehealth into existing courses and research. We're also creating opportunities for interprofessional clinical experiences among our professional students. Stony Brook has over 35 years of experience training residents in preventive medicine and we're always updating our curriculum. It was clear to us when we were writing a training grant application three years ago that it was important to address the need for resident education and telehealth. Fortunately, HRSA awarded the funds, which has helped us develop a resident-run telepreventive medicine service, which we call TPM. TPM is a clinical service designed to train residents on how to use telehealth to improve health outcomes. The care is delivered in a way that's convenient for the patient's needs while improving health quality metrics. In addition to performing virtual visits, residents also use population health management and data analytics to improve care and health outcomes. It's been such an incredible experience being part of the team implementing our new telehealth preventive medicine rotation. I've learned so much about the process. One of my favorite experiences was helping a patient get her colon and breast cancer screenings. I was also able to use my motivational interviewing skills to help her quit smoking. The coronavirus pandemic requires us to train differently in light of the urgent needs for virtual care. Stony Brook was fortunate to have been awarded a grant from the Federal Communications Commission to expand our telehealth practice. COVID-19 has accelerated telehealth education and highlighted the value of this work. Medicine has fundamentally changed and we're preparing the next generation of clinicians to be ready 